we're framing it up today, guys. We are talking about frames. I can't believe we are like in June. I think I started Canva Tip Weekly in February or March, and I haven't had a class or a video on frames. At least I don't think I have. I have been collecting Canva Tip Weekly in this giant document. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's pretty fun to see all of the lessons that I've done across, like maybe I'll give it away or something. But today we're talking about frames. So if you don't know, frames are Canva's uh, vessels to put in images. I've already recorded this video a million times, which is why you can see some frames that are in recently used. You're going to go to elements and scroll all the way down to frames. It's a couple of places, uh, a couple of favorites, uh, the circle, the scallop. Uh, how frames work can't be elements. It has to be photos that you put into frames. So if I come down here and I like these flower things, I cannot put these into a frame. This is an editable graphic that's going to give me nightmares. You also can't put in gradients. So if I come over here to graphics and I put in, I, I can't put this gradient inside of a frame. It is photos only. So photos only. Check that out. A fun little tip for frames is that you can double click and then reposition the photo within the frame. So let's say you've got this cute family or friends shot and you like really hate this person that's in the far right. Just go ahead and crop them out. Just zoom, just zoom it out. Double click to zoom, zoomy zoom that around. Now, some of these frames have lost their minds. The circle of a scallop we love. We love a good circle scallop moment. Let's go back out of graphics down here to frames. Some of these are what? Why? I don't know why I need a fall. Like, watch what happens when I put, like, that in there. It keeps that, like, orangey thing. I, I don't know when you would use that. But, you know, I appreciate Canva for giving us these things. Now, you might be wondering, Olivia, how do I make my own frame? I know. It was the first question you had when you saw that this was going to be about frames. Can you make your own frames in Canva? Yes, not in this video, you can't. It's gonna be a separate video. If you're a designer, it's very easy. If you're not a designer, it's kinda hacky, but we'll figure it out together. Essentially, right now, you are limited to Canva-specific frames. I think this is both good and bad. It's good as non-designers. I've seen some folks go wild. You don't need every single thing to be a shape. You don't need your logo to change with the seasons and add photos and do all this stuff. As designers, sometimes we're gonna need a different scallop. Maybe that's too wide. I want more of a, a niche scallop or more of a um, focused scallop. Maybe I don't like this exact iPhone and I don't. This one has really weird proportions. Maybe I want an oval that's not as oval as Canva's ovals. Designers, I will show you how to do it. It's going to be in a future video. For now, we're talking about all of these preset gems. One thing that I do love is Canva's devices. Now, I'm going to show you on this very orange page here and make me smaller. I want, you, I want to encourage everyone to take a step further with devices. So these are devices that you can do in Canva. Uh... There's all Mac products, sorry, for non-Mac users. You've got an iMac, an iPhone, a MacBook, and an iPad. I mean, I guess they could be other things, but they're pretty clearly what they are. I encourage you guys to change their colors. These are pretty stark. You can tell that they're graphics. I like to come in here and make sure that this computer is my brand color. So we're going to make it my new neon color, neon mint color. Um... I like to make the phone look transparent, even though it's not. So I'm going to give it the same color as the background and then make the outline, make all of these click, 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 click. Oh my goodness. The computer, I'm going to do the same thing, make that orange, but then I'm going to make everything else like neon. Isn't that fun? And then the iPad. Alrighty, cool. So that's going to give you a little bit more branded of a look. 
Now, searching for frames, I actually think is a miserable experience. I like I'm going to type in arch and Kim is going to go, what? I've never heard of an arch before. It's kind of hard to find. Um, they're in there. So my recommendation for you guys is to use your own style guide. I have one coming soon in my shop, a Canva specific style guide, and start to collect the frames that you like because they're always going to be chilling and happy on their own page. So I'm going to come back over here to the regular frames panel and show you a few that I really like in case you want to use them. Obviously, I love all of the devices. If you continue scrolling down without it being so glitchy like it is, well, it's just flat out not unglitching for me. Here we go. There's some really pretty shapes that are down here. I really like this oval. It has a really nice clean outline. Do I wish there was an oval without it? Yes, I think it's in there. You just kind of have to keep on scrolling for it. There's some other... Ugh, it's just glitching. Let's see if I can make this vertical frames only. Oh, there we go. Here's a oval that has a border on it. There's a lot of really cool stuff that works really well for presentations. There's also letters in here. I guess like at thought that's pretty cool. Sometimes designs look cool and you're like, wow, a Q. What, what, what is the application for that? As a designer, I'm constantly thinking, what's the application? What could work for this? I don't know what that, I guess it's a butterfly. Um, so really think about how you can create clean and accessible designs. So that's frames. Um, one last little fun trick. Oh, there's an arch. One last little fun trick I want to show you is that frames keep the settings that they have. So for example, if I come to edit image and I say, hey, I want this image to have no saturation and be, well, I don't want it to be blurry. Let's do like, fine, no saturation. Um, any photo that I drag into this frame will keep the same style. That's a fun fact. I don't know why, I mean, I guess it kind of helps, but it's kind of cool that you don't, if you have a bunch of frames and you have a certain style of, of photo that you like, you can very quickly add tons of stuff in there. Um, so that's just a cool little, little fact for you there. Alrighty guys, go have fun with some frames, find some that you really like, keep them close, uh, and look forward to a future video that's going to show you how to make frames of your very own. All right, happy canvassing. Oh,